What is up my fellow noobs and nerds, it's Maceblade here giving you a quick tutorial on boiling water and cleaning your water. Uh, the last one I made I forgot to unmute my mic so you literally watched me walking around and didn't get to hear anything. Uh, so with that I apologize but this is going to be a new one and you can hear me now. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is in your ventures you're going to keep your eye out for a pot. All right, and the pot is vital because it's the only way you can boil water and once you acquire the pot you're going to need you know a water bottle or any kind of jug to store water and you can use a well you can go up to a lake or you can use a, um, a rain catcher and all you're gonna do is you're gonna drag your empty container into the square here when you activate it and it will now fill you up with dirty water so then what you do is you go to your bonfire or your cook stove, whatever you have, and you place your pot on it, and now you have three additional slots. You fill them slots with your dirty water and click cook uh, clearly after you stoke up your fire. Then you click cook. After some time, you can see your little dots here. This will ping and you will now have blue dots here. That is your basic how to clean your water so you can drink it. Now if you want to get more advanced, after you create the well, which you need a drilling tool, and your drilling tool, I highly recommend you make two right here. You're going to have to create two. One to unlock the well in the skill tree, and then one to use in the well. So once you unlock the well, and then you build your well, you can now come over here to fill it up. All right. Now that's all fine and dandy, and but it's still going to produce dirty water. And I don't know about you, but our well is pretty shitty. I wouldn't drink our water. Um, I would also claim that it's dirty. So after you get your well set up, you're going to need to build a water storage station. Now the water storage station uses a ton of parts, a ton of materials, um, steel ingots, motors, delicate parts. It says 10, but I'm pretty sure it's 15. Um, it uses charcoal, you know, everything you can see on the list here. Now, while you're making your metallurgy skill, so if you ever want to craft your pot on your machining table, you're going to need a metallurgy to unlock it because you have to have the steel ingots. While you're trying to raise your metallurgy skill, the easiest, fastest way is to burn logs and create charcoal. One log gives you like four charcoal or something like that. And you're going to need the charcoal, so do not throw that away. Now, the charcoal you are going to need for your water storage station, which once you build, you're going to connect to your water source, which is your well. So you click connect, and then you click it to your, you know, connect it to your electricity. And now you have an automated well pumping station. Now you have to click start pumping to get to start. Now once it reaches the 500 liters it will stop and it will shut off but it allows you to withdraw up to 500 liters no matter where you connect to. Now to see your available range you click available range and everywhere that's highlighted blue is where you can connect water to. So for instance if you have water culture boxes right here you can now connect your water culture boxes to your tank and they will auto irrigate. They will automatically add the moisture to them. Okay. <clears throat> so, long or the short of it is, after you've created that and it starts pumping, you can then create things like sinks. And your sink. You put a water filter in, which you get from mixing a charcoal and a stone in your machining table down here. You can create water filters. Two charcoal, two stone gives you one water filter. Now, if you're trying to raise metallurgy like I did, you will have sufficient amount of both to create enough water filters to last you quite some time. And then you simply go up to it and you can drink. And it restores a decent amount of thirst
and it's pretty much effortless. You know, you, you can also fill your water bottles from here. No more boiling. You just take your, you know, your water bottle and you drag it over here and now you're full, you know, and then you have your, you know, your carry on. So if you're out exploring, you know, you have fresh, clean water. Also, what comes with that is you can now shower and you can clean yourself. And that will literally put you to full no matter how low you are. I don't know if it's exactly 100%, but it's, it's quite a bit. And that is basically it for the water tutorial. Um, if you guys like it, you know, leave a like, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. All right, peace out, get wrecked, nerds.